yesterday was Amy's birthday, and I felt bad she couldn't have any party at all. So I was like, hey, come to the house. And so we ordered from her, one of her favorite restaurants. Mm -hmm. I drove across town, got it. You know, and they say you can't get the corona from food. Like, it, even if a, a person does put it into food, you still can't get it. It doesn't transfer in food. So I went and, and picked it up. Like, just, you couldn't sit at the restaurant, but you could go in and grab it. Ordered it online when they grabbed it. I know, but oh, I felt so bad because the restaurant is right by my house. And then I got to Bobby's house. And he wasn't there because he was out picking up the food. And I was like, this is so silly. I could have picked it up because... On your birthday, you shouldn't have to pick up your food. And know, birthdays but... aren't about practicality. Okay, it just, yeah, it was not practical. But that was very thoughtful. I mean, could have... I should have picked a restaurant. Well, you know my middle name. Super close to your house. Thoughtful? No, William. I thought you knew it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, okay. So, yeah. we had that. And Caitlin made cupcakes. Yeah, she did, and they were so good. She made red velvet cupcakes for Amy. Mm -hmm. Spent a good amount of the day yesterday making them. I don't think it was like some just like mixture she put together. Yeah, she no, it was like the sprinkles recipe, which she adapted to make gluten-free, and then she did Pioneer Woman's cream cheese icing. Like, she put out all the stops. Like, I was like, whoa, this is a keeper. Are you just now getting to that? <laughs> That's no. why. <laughs> She's been a keeper, but, I mean, cupcakes sealed the deal. So, we eat cupcakes... The Amy brought over some game where you put headphones on and it blocks out your hearing and you have to guess what the other person says. It's called hearing things in case you want to get a game for the house oh, when you're fine. quarantined. So we did that game for a little bit, a couple hours. And yeah. I kind of felt bad you couldn't have a big birthday party, but hope it was okay. No, it was perfect. I mean, given the circumstances, like it was great. I left there with my heart full and just felt really good. I mean, obviously my kids being on spring break, and gone and kind of quarantined down in Texas in their own little world. Like, I was like, oh. And there we did have a plan for a birthday, so I kind of thought, well, I'll just sit at home because that's the safe thing to do. And then when you invited me over, I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and the, it was special, so thank you. It definitely helped a lot. And we didn't break the quarantine rules. No. We I'm with Amy apart. right now, right? So we're always together anyway. Right. Yeah. And then we there were no more than 10 people there. Mm -hmm. So she said, just us. But it was, it was nice. And it was. Amy hadn't seen my dog in a while, and he's gotten pretty big. Oh, my gosh. When he walked out, I was like, who is this little monster? Yeah, he's gotten... He's like a hoss. He just comes now. out there like... Mm, he's mm, so mm, heavy, mm. huh? Yeah. Something's wrong with him, though. We, we mm -hmm. can't quite identify it. Oh, really? I think maybe the medicine he's on, because he had some, like, growth on the side of his face. They didn't know if something bit him or if there was some food that got lodged into his jaw. But they gave him some antibiotics. And he just has been, like, biting random things, overly aggressive toward, like, furniture and, like, ripping stuff up. He's been peeing randomly. He never does any of this. So something is not right. Today, I may have said the wrong day, but today it goes back to the vet. And they're like, okay, you come and you sit in the car and you give us the dog and then we'll bring yeah. it back to you. Because they don't want anyone close to them or in their, in their place. I don't know what the deal is with the dog and the— Yeah. He's just been— re And at first I was irritated at him because he was being so bad. But now something's wrong with him. Yeah, I think it's we can tell. really is something. He peed four times yesterday on the carpet. He peed zero times on the carpet in weeks. When he saw me, he peed. He's just, it, like, yeah. his, his body's not right. Yeah. He's like, he can't control some stuff. So, yeah, doing that, but it was fun. I had, we had a good time. Well, uh, good. I'm glad that you had fun because I had fun.